this is the the effect I kind of wanted. Um, I really I really kind of like that. So there. So uh, today we're going to do something uh, different. I'm actually not really tried this uh, too much, uh, but we're gonna right now when our character walks around uh, and we change direction. Uh, it just kind of it looks like his head flips. So what we're actually going to do is try to create a like a flip a flip visual, so it looks more uh, like he's actually turning around versus this this just his head going back and forth. Um, so we're going to add a like a flip variable and then give it a couple steps in there, just give give the the movement a little more personality. So we're going to go into the to the boy character. We're going to do two things. We're going to do a, a flip. And we're going to set to false. And a flip rate. And this is going to be, um, we'll just try it. I don't know. We may have to change this a little bit later, but we're going to just call, call it a flip rate. So Normally it will either be one or negative one, but we're gonna switch it between the two. Um, I guess we will also do a flip correction. Actually, we don't need to do that because our character already has character's direction. So in our movement, in our uh, step event, where we're doing our movement, we're gonna add test whether we change direction or not. So before we we do this, um, if our character's direction, because we're going to set it here, we need to check it before we switch it. Let's actually do it within here, because otherwise we're not switching. If our character direction not equal to our move direction. I'm going to tell it to flip. And we on here we also need to... Right, we're going to create a draw x. Which is going to be... Um, set that to 1. And we're going to want this to be... Be here. Actually, we don't need to do that because we're over here. Our character direction. So let's go back to our draw sprite. We're doing an image scale. So where in here do we switch our image scale right here? So we're actually going to change how this changes the image scale. Okay. All right, so if our, so if we're flipping, so that would be set the first time we change a direction. All right, or the image X scale, um, not equal to one, or image x scale not equal to negative one. Uh, this will, if we do it this way, we'll probably have, if we wanted to make our character giant size, I mean, that would need to be taken into consideration if you're going to do some sprite size modification for the character, but um, I don't really see that being an issue at this point in time. So for flipping, flipping or we're not at one of these others we're we're still in the flip type mode let's say this flip is false if we don't keep causing the slip so we're going to take our image x scale and we are going to take the character direction or actually just move x our character direction.
Now let's see. We're going to set this to create a flip direction because our character direction is not always one or where is it? So we, if it's not zero, okay, yeah, it would be. So we're, we're still fine there. So the concern was if we went one direction and let go, it doesn't reset it. So this will still stay um, direction of the character. We'll go down here, actually do it outside of this loop. Because otherwise, if we don't, if we let up, we won't do a full flip. We want it to do a full flip. So far, flip. But we're not, if we did a flip, we've got a direction set. And we're going to times it by our flip rate. Actually, we'll, we'll move this down here because once we're done flipping, we want to stop. We'll do it that way. So if we're flipping, we've changed our direction. We're going to set it to flip. And if we're not already a full direction one way or the other, we are going to take our current direction scale and add a flip direction and the rate we're going to flip. So this would be like 1 times 0 0.2. So like if we were going to flip to the right, you know, we'd be adding it the opposite direction. So it would flip if hmm. We're going to clamp, go ahead and just clamp it. Negative one and one. Look okay, at this. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to flip. We're going to take our image scale. If we were not flipped fully one way or the other, we're going to start flip it at a rate. We're gonna make sure we don't flip too far. And once we've clamped it, um, we're just doing an extra check to make sure we stop flipping. Let's see how this looks. Hmm, it's not exactly what I wanted to do. All right, so we have to do it because not better. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so there you go. That's what it actually happens if uh, you don't clamp it. We just keep going and going. I like that. Not really. So... Oh. They would always do that because we're either negative one or negative one let's get we don't really need this because we we're, we're testing up here we've set it that we're going to flip and we're doing the direction so let's just take this off right now make sure we don't do anything weird all right so Oh, see, this is, we don't want this to be here because this automatically sets us to a direction where we want it to change it after the fact. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. <laughs> this gives you more of a, yeah, so that's the, the effect I wanted. So we'll zoom in here. This gives you the, the more of the Paper Mario effect. And just a little bit of a 
a more of a personality instead of just the plain. Yeah, I like that. That's a pretty good. Yeah, the, the thing that uh, we needed to do was to make sure we didn't set it because we were flipping it up here, setting it prior to even testing it. So we didn't want that to occur. And then the other, with the uh, or clause, we were making it way too large. So this is the, the effect I kind of wanted. Um, I really, I really can like that. Um, so, uh, until next time, good luck coding.